Okay, my plan is to only give you some ideas on how you might solve this problem. We've got this goat tethered at the edge of a circular field with a radius of one unit. That's this red circle right here. That's the field, radius of one. And here's the goat on the edge of that circle. And he's going to be tethered to a rope, and we want to know how long that rope has got to be so that he can graze at least half the field. Uh, note that the area of the field, the red circle, is pi r squared, so it's just pi. So we want the area of the shaded region to be greater than or equal to pi over 2. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to Desmos and show you what happens. If r is less than 1, we've got this situation. Uh, there's the area of the blue region, which is 0.83. The area of the green region, these two segments, is 0.112. And so the area of the shaded region is less than 1. It's not pi over 2. <clears throat> if I increase R to 1, it still doesn't quite get there. But R, so that means that R has to be greater than 1. And eventually, we'll get there. Okay, and it turns out that the correct R is this number right here, 1.1587285. You can see how close that gets us to having the shaded region equal to pi over 2. Of course, we want R to be greater than that, greater than or equal to that, so that the area of the shaded region is greater than half the area of the field. So I'm going to go to board one on YZAT and give you some ideas how we might find the area of the shaded region. Uh, if we draw the, this, these dotted lines, those are radii of the field, one, and the distance from the center of the field to where the goat is tethered is also one. And this distance right here, capital R, is the radius of the tethered goat, the circle containing the tethered goat. <clears throat> so to find the area of this blue region, that's the sector, a, a sector of the, uh, the goat's circle. And how do you find the area of a sector? Well, it's a fraction of the area of the entire circle. So <clears throat> if we could find this angle right here, we could find the area of this top blue sector and then double it if we have the area of the blue sector. So using the law of cosines, we can find what theta is. Uh, this, side, this one is opposite theta, so by the law of cosines, one squared equals this one squared plus this r squared minus two times one times r times the cosine of theta there's what theta is in terms of r. So the area of that blue sector is theta over 360, that's the portion of the entire circle, times the area of the big circle, which would be pi times its radius squared. And then I double it because we have two sectors. And now, how do we find the area of one of these green segments? I'll call this S sub 1, S sub 2. Well, now we're looking at a circle centered at the origin, center of the field. And the area of the sector, this entire region right here, is, well, 180 minus 2 theta is the portion or the fraction of the circle over 360 uh, and the area of the circle is one that's why I don't show the area here and then we have to subtract the area of this triangle well the area of that triangle we can use area of a triangle given two sides which are both one is one half a b sine of the angle between them. I'll use alpha. <clears throat> so that's what this is. The 
the area of the triangle. And of course, that's the area of one green segment. We'd have to double that. And the total area would be uh, this area plus two of these. Okay, that's the total area. And we want to, how do you solve for R if you have that mess? Well, that's where you might have to use a graphing calculator to find out the R value that produces a value greater than or equal to the area of the total. Okay, and I'll leave that to you. Uh, this is not calculus, so you can't use Newton's method, which would be another option. There you go. hope that at least gave you some ideas. I uh, hope that helped.